Hey guys, I'm Dubai Zope here. Welcome back to the channel. So it is officially June 1st, 2021, which means we're less than a week away from WWDC and therefore the first beta for iOS 15. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few tips and recommendations on how to prepare your iOS device before you make the decision to install Apple's next major update here in the next couple of days. So let's just dive right into this one. The first thing you need to keep in mind is device support. Although Apple hasn't mentioned which devices will be supported by iOS 15, I'm pretty sure that any device from iPhone 7 or newer will be able to install iOS 15 beta 1 after Apple makes the announcement at WWDC. Now, unfortunately, and I hope I'm wrong, but I believe iPhone SE first generation and iPhone 6S and 6S Plus will not get iOS 15 support. As I mentioned, iPhone 7 or newer, and I hope I'm wrong on this one. Hopefully, hopefully we get all devices that run iOS 14 to run iOS 15, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, if your device is supported by iOS 15, there's also another thing you need to keep in mind, and that is you never want to install beta software on a primary device. Now, of course, yes, I do install it on my primary device, and that is because I do like testing the software, I make videos on the software, so I take the risk. And I also do have the privilege to have a second device. Just in case things go wrong, I can just switch over to a second device. So just keep those things in mind, device aboard, and uh, don't install this on your primary device, okay? Now, the next thing you need to do, and this is very, very important, keep in mind, beta software could crash, could cause your device's uh, data to be corrupted. So therefore, you need to back up your device. Rather, you're backing up directly to a Mac or you wanna back up to iCloud. In order to back up to iCloud, in case you don't know, you have to go to the iCloud settings here and then make sure all these toggles are turned on for the stuff that you want to back up. So every toggle for each application that you want to back up in app data, you wanna make sure you enable it and then head on over to iCloud backup and make sure this toggle is turned on. What this will do is it will automatically back up all your data overnight when your iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi and a power source and that way, if anything goes wrong, you can always restore from backup. Don't wait till the last minute. Make sure you do this ahead of time. Again, we have about six days before we see the first beta. So now is the time to start backing up all your data. Again, either the cloud or you can also use, of course, a physical computer in order to back up all your data. Now, once we have all our data backed up, there's also two things you need to know. You either sign up for Apple's developer program, and I do have a video on this. There's two programs. There's the public beta testing program, which is completely free and everyone can sign up for. And I'll link this, of course, in the description. But the difference is with public beta testing program, for the most part, in past history, Apple usually takes about a month to release the next beta uh, for a major software update. So if developers get it on the 7th, uh, you know, public beta testers will get it 30 days after that for the most part, but it is free. So you're not going to get it on day one, but you do have the ability to install the beta maybe a month later. Now, developer accounts, which of course will be linked in the description as well. This of course gives you access to Apple's developer portal and all that good stuff. So you do get the beta on day one. However, you do have to pay for the actual subscription, which is $99 a year and you can add i think is up to 99 devices plus yours with one developer account and again i'll link everything in the description i have an entire video devoted on how to use and go through this process for public beta and developer beta alike so just keep those things in mind make sure you back up your data which is one of the most important things don't go installing this on your primary device unless you have a secondary device that you can fall back on in case things go wrong and of course, we're hoping, hoping for Apple to bring support for every single device in iOS 14 with iOS 15. So now is the time, guys. Make sure you prepare your devices. Are you excited? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.